So now let's see how we can use the basic navigation options inside of Google Chrome, that is back, forward, reload, and stop load options. So uh, to do that, we are going to go on to a website called, let's say, www.wikipedia.com. Uh, and you can see that I mistyped it, so I'm just going to go around and press the delete key to delete the slash out. And I'm going to press enter so I can navigate on to wikipedia.com. So here you can see that the page has been loaded and I can search for an article right here. So let's say I want to uh, search an article regarding Google Chrome right here and I'm going to uh, press enter on my keyboard and then what happens is that it'll search out for that content in Wikipedia. So here you can see that it has searched out for the content and that we I'm in the Google Chrome page um, of Wikipedia. So I can go around over here and then I can click on different elements right here to let's say for example if I want to know about uh, let's say for example Chromecast right here I can click on it and then it'll take me to that page right here. So in this um, um, a few moments, what we did was we went on onto different pages right here. So let's say I want to go back into the previous page. Then what I can do is on the top left, you can see that there's the go uh, click to go back right here. Once you click on it, what happens is that it goes back a step. So whatever page we viewed last time will uh, show up right there. So let's say if we want to go forward, that is after Google Chrome, we went on to the Chromecast space. So if I were to click on this button right here, that is click to go forward. And if I were to click on it, you can see that it go, goes forward a page. But here you can see that the forward button is no longer available because, um, uh, there, um, uh, because we did not navigate more than the space right here. So I can go back, I can go forward right here. So let's say, for example, you want to refresh a page for some reason, let's say, for example, a page didn't load correctly, or maybe the page keeps constantly updating, then you might want to reload the page by clicking on this button right there, which reloads out the page in case there is an update. But in this case, there's no update. So you can see that it is as it is. So another thing that you can do is let's say you're loading up a page right here. Let's say I'm going to go around and type in YouTube right here. And let's say you do not want it to load uh, fully or you want it to stop loading, that is stop consuming bandwidth, then you can press the cross button which appears right there. So let's say for example, I'm going to say, uh, let's say Google Drive right here and I'm going to go around, you see the cross button right here which appears, click on it, there's the cross button that appears. So if there's a huge web page that's loading, you do not want it to load uh, further, then you can simply click on this cross button and then what happens is that it will stop loading right there. So if there's images that is uh, not, uh, like uh, still yet to be loaded, then it won't be loaded anymore. So it will be blank. And another thing you can do to access the forward back button is right click on a blank space right here and you can see that you have the same option. So you can go back right here, you can right click. We can go forward as well and there's a shortcut key like alt left arrow and alt right arrow uh, to go back and forward as well which you can use there's reload as well which you can use to reload out a particular page and that is how you can go back forward reload or stop load uh, loading of a page inside of google chrome browser so if you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe